Our reading strategy today is predicting again, and we're following on from the previous lesson. When we predict, we wonder what's going to happen next. We make predictions, we think, we bet that, and you can imagine, and we use the word because to link these thoughts together. The context of the story is we're still reading ancient Greek myths. And some of the myths here we have looked at in English and we might have read some of them through our story times. We're still reading Greek myths retold and illustrated by Marsha Williams and her style is the iconic comic style with watercolours and a lot of humour in those little pictures. Vocabulary we're going to come across today is passages, which means long and narrow part of a building, like a corridor. To cast is to throw something or someone or oneself. And to mourn is to feel or show sorrow for the death of someone, the past tense of mourn. So Theseus and the Minotaur continued. That night Ariadne crept softly past the guards. She gave Theseus a sword and a ball of magic thread to guide him out of the maze. I imagine that Theseus would be grateful for her help and that he would use it wisely to guide his own way back if he is successful in his quest. The next day the Athenians were thrown into the labyrinth. Once inside, Theseus tied one end of the thread to a door and set off in search of the Minotaur. What do you think the other Athenian thought about his plan? She doesn't look very convinced. And what do you think will happen to Theseus once he's inside the labyrinth? The labyrinth was a confusing maze of cold, dark passages. It took him a long time to get to the Minotaur. Lots of obstacles in his way. Or oh, hindrance is one of our spelling words we had this week. Suddenly, Theseus came face to face with that hideous monster. The struggle was long and fierce, for the Minotaur was enormously strong. But Theseus eventually drove his sword through his heart and it sank to the ground, dead. I wonder. What will happen now? Following the thread, Theseus traced his path back to the entrance of the labyrinth. Hearing the cheers of Theseus' friends, Ariadne quickly unlocked the door. Then, then everyone ran for the ship and set sail for Athens. After a few days, they stopped at an island where Ariadne fell asleep. Theseus, unwilling to marry his enemy's daughter, left the sleeping on the sand. The next part will be without Ariadne because he left her on the island. In all excitement, Theseus forgot to change his sail from black to white. Meanwhile, his father, King Aegis, watched anxiously for the ship. Sit, sighting the black sail and thinking the worst, he cast himself onto the rocks below. As Athenian parents celebrated their children's return, Theseus mourned the death of his father. So the sad but heroic Theseus became king of Athens and lived to win many more victories. What a sad little ending for Theseus, but a happy ending for the Athenians. Do you think? Do you agree? Can you please go to J2 Launch to complete the big picture questions on Theseus and the Minotaur Lesson 4? You will have to watch video 3 and video 4 to answer the questions. It covers both videos.